It's inevitable when you keep on bashing your truck eventually something is going to break so right here we have the stampede 4x4 a number of years ago the electronic speed control the mount snapped off and let me just come in for a zoom real quick here and back then the rpm uh, cage for the speed controller did not exist so what i did is i essentially designed my own and within an hour or so i had my own speed controller cage so right here Right underneath the fan, we have a speed controller cage, and I'll show you on how I built this in a few moments. But after two years, I've had zero problems with this, and it's just made from spare parts, a spare post for your body. I just cut it in half, drilled it through the chassis here, and then attached it. And then I took a throttle cable from that Savage back there, the HPI Savage, and I mounted it. And again, I'll come in for a zoom so you guys can see exactly how I did this. And this works fantastic. So if you don't have the RPM cage and your electronic speed control mount broke, you can do this by all means if you have the spare parts uh, or if you just want to see how, how something like this can be built. So that being said, let me come in for a zoom and show you how we did this. So let's go ahead and dry fit our speed controller. This is of course where it is from the factory and we'll place a body mount here. One will be uh, on, the, on this side and we'll have another one over here, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look and if we look closely. It looks like it looks like this hole right here would be the best mounting uh, place. Uh, this will be a little too high, I think. So what I'll do is I'll I'll cut it right uh, maybe right around here. I'll cut it with the Dremel, smooth it out, and again I'll do I'll make one for this side and then make one for the other side right here. Now once you make your cut, these holes are rather small. They're really made for body clips and the, uh, the linkage here is a little too thick. So you need to widen it up a little bit. What I'm using here is a nail. I'm just pressing into it. And then I'm using a threaded screw, a small one and then I'll thread it into the body post to widen up the hole a little bit and that way the throttle linkage will uh, fit in there. Now as you can see it's a little bit thicker and we can go ahead and it's a tight fit just don't go too large when you make this hole And there you go. So, this is your first one. Do the exact same thing on the other body mount, and then we'll be able to attach it to the chassis. So, now we can grab the speed controller. We have our little mount that we made, slip it over the cooling fin, and then we'll be able to drop it into the chassis. But we need to make a few adjustments here. If you take a look, at the body mounts, they're not completely square. So we need to sand off a little bit on the end there and a little bit on the other side. And just to show you what it looks like, let me see if I can hit a light here. That's a little bit better. So this is all this is all I really took off here just a little bit sanded on each side and let's go ahead and take a look here and now it fits in the chassis quite well uh, so we're almost done the last step is if you take a look on the chassis there's one hole that's already drilled out for us this is fine this hole we need to drill out uh, because what we'll be doing is attaching the body mount from underneath the chassis. In the event you don't have a drill or a drill bit, what you can use is get yourself a long screw and go ahead and thread it into the mount and then just turn the screw until it ends up on or through the chassis, which will be right here.
Now we can go ahead and drop the speed controller right onto its mount or right onto the chassis and now it's ready to be bolted on and in regards to the screw selection uh, this is what I'll be using these happen to be just extra screws I have lying around and I did have to adjust them a little bit uh, I did have to cut off the ends uh, just to uh, essentially uh, custom make them so it fits into uh, this application because the screw on the right here is for the shorter one for this guy but the screw on the on the left it has a lot more travel before it hits the mount so this one is longer so the longer screw is for the left the shorter screw is for the right and now we can go ahead mount the speed controller to the truck and then uh, we'll be able to rock and roll you may have to wiggle the mount a little bit just to make everything line up but um, just take your time and you should be able to fit everything in there and line everything up. And of course the last step is go ahead make your connections back to the motor of course uh, back to the receiver box and if anyone has any recommendations on how to make this better any questions comments please leave it below and we'll go ahead and see you next time.